Hey, what's up guys? This is Crafty Fox, and today we are making the British Rail Class 380. So this is Siemens Zero EMU train, and it's serves on a below Scott Rail in Scotland, which is in the UK. And I have a couple of train sets here, and I noticed they come in like sets of three and four. So here we have a four car train set, so you see the end car. Then we have the car with the pantograph. And then we have like a plain coach car, I guess. There's like nothing at the bottom or at the top. And then we have another end car. And then for the three car one, we have an end car, the pantograph car, and just another end car. So uh, this would be the one that you would build if you want to build uh, the quickest. You just have like a three car train set, although that is kind of short. And then there also is like they combine three and four together to equal seven. So uh, here we have end car, pantograph car. Um, I think there's an end car as well. They combine like this. This is how you're going to combine it if you're going to do it like that. And then we'll have uh, a plain car. So there's nothing here. A pantograph car and then an end car at the back. So uh, yeah, that is pretty much what it looks like for the British Rail Class 380. Now let's get started on this build. So we're going to use a standard gauge track and it's going to be four blocks wide. Uh, just put it on uh, one side of the track. So uh, let's build it right over here. Let's take um, stone brick stairs and I'm going to try to align that up. Just put two of them down for the front plow. And the back of that, let's add stone brick stairs on the sides, upside down like so. And then we're going to have, um, what is this, blue concrete I think. Let's make an L shape on uh, both sides, so just place that on the very top. And then the center, I'm not sure what exactly I put there, but we're going to use uh, gray concrete. Let's put that right here two blocks in the middle and including this block we're gonna make it 35 blocks long so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen twenty two one two 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 three twenty four twenty five twenty six twenty seven twenty eight twenty nine thirty thirty one thirty two thirty three thirty four thirty five now once we do that fill in the other side and then we'd go all the way back And then we're going to take stone brick stairs and add that to the sides like this all the way across. And this is going to take us a while because it is pretty long. And then we have to make another car using like basically the same thing. And then the other side. It's actually been a while since I made a uh, train to 12 video, I think like the last video that was um, one of those command block trains the tram sorry I haven't been uploading recently but that's because school is starting up again and I gotta do all that work <laughs> alright so now let's add yellow concrete on the top uh, sides and a stone button in front of that it's gonna be in for the headlights then we're gonna take um, yellow concrete again and actually let me take yeah let me take gray concrete let's add a 2 by 3 on top of this so this is a new section with one side having um, yellow concrete the other side having cobblestone wall and at the bottom let's have uh, two stone brick slabs that one stone brick slab on that side and on the top, we have um, just black carpet like so. And behind that, we would have um, another brick slab like that. Uh, then let's go to the back. And for this gangway, we'll have another 2x3 on top of that of gray concrete. With a 2x3 of cobblestone wall. Underneath, we're going to have the coupling. So let me just check if it's the same in the front. Okay, it's 
it is. But for this one, for some reason, I made a difference. So let me try to fix that error. So I made it on one side. Cool. And now on the top, we're going to have um, black carpet. And at the bottom, let's have some more um, stone brick slabs. So I just add two at the very end, like so. And then we're going to add a uh, dark oak wood fence gate, two of them, like that. And that's supposed to connect between the cars like that. Okay, so then we're going to have, let's do the paint job. So for the paint job, um, in the front and the back, there's sort of like this arrow shape with the quartz block. So let me take that out. And just try to make an arrow shape like that in the front. Uh, same thing on both sides. Then we're going to go to the back. Same thing with the arrow. And then we'll have uh, blue concrete in between everything. And then we're going to make a giant donut with a two block hole in it. So just try to make a O shape. With a two block wide window inside. And then let's add some stuff in the front. So I'm going to have to, this is actually kind of complicated to make. Um, let's start off with blue, uh, then light blue, blue, then light blue, skip two blocks, light blue, blue, light blue, and then three blues. And let's just copy the same thing on the other side. So I'm just going to do it layer by layer. Maybe that's the easiest way to go. So then I'm going to be hit with this logo. It's going to say like Scott Rail. So one side is going to be uh, quartz, the other side concrete. So this side is two quartz. And on the left is the concrete. So just flip that around for the other side. So quartz is at the end. You can't really see it. Maybe you can see it right now, um, the difference in color. It's very subtle. And let's add in some doors. So we're going to have double doors in the front. And I should have made like the hole for the double doors in the back. So let's do that right now. I'm going to take light blue wool. I mean light blue concrete. The blue, light blue, skip two blocks. Light blue, blue, light blue, and then three blues. Copy the same thing on the other side. And then we're going to have our back doors. Cool. All right, so now we're going to have um, windows. So let's take our black stained glass block, add one inside of this arrow in the front. And we're going to have also windows for the cab, I guess. I think it's cab since it's in the front. So I have two of those. And then we're going to have a two block wide window right here. Skip two blocks here, another two block wide window. Skip a block, another one. And just keep on doing that till we have like four of these in the center. And also add two in the back, both sides. Then we're going to have uh, blue concrete over all the areas. Except for uh, above the doors, we're going to have a different block for that. So just fill that in like so. Just skip the door areas. After we do that, we're to take um, concrete, white concrete, just add two of them above each of the double doors. And stone brick slab uh, in the middle, two blocks wide. And let's just go across the whole thing. So we will have to make a little altercation in the middle, but that's about it. So just fill that in. And I made a little mistake over there. 
and it is very humid right now, so I am very sweaty right now. Okay, so after we do that, let's add um, this middle part. So that's going to be another brick slab. So find a middle right here where the Scott Rail logo is. Just replace these two slabs. And we're also going to add black concrete on the side. I mean black wool carpet. So that's going to be five blocks wide uh, between these two mi middle windows. All right, so there also will be a black carpet above uh, that arrow in the front as well. And then we're gonna take a gray carpet, just add it in the rest of the area on top of the roof. I don't know if you can hear or not, but my fan is going crazy. And sometimes I have played videos back and then I can hear it and other times I can't hear it. So I hope this video you can't hear it. That'll be pretty awesome. But one time I had to change it in not density. <clears throat> but that was a pretty simple process to do. You just uh, get the audio where only the fan is playing, nothing else. And then you just get that uh, to cut it out. So now once we're done with that uh, roof area, now we can work on the bottom. So there is some bottom detail. Which is the hopper wheels some people they don't like it but I think it fits for this train so we're gonna have it uh, right below the stone brick stairs so just have that one right behind the plow and then we'll have three stone brick slabs and then another hopper so just try doing that then go to the other side the back part and let's skip two blocks here do the same thing with the hopper so I try to skip these two so maybe it's like three blocks away from the edge and just keep on the outer part have three slabs in between and then the hoppers again and then we'll have to make uh, that part um, so we're gonna line up with the second middle window and let's just add uh, these two slabs underneath it to line that up. And there also is another one, which is going to align with this window right here. So for this side, it's going to be six blocks long. Like that. And the other side, it's going to have like this nether brick in the front of it. Just two of them. That's going to be like a vent. So just add two. And stone brick slabs like that. All right. So yeah, that's pretty much it, I think, or maybe not. We do have to add these yellow banners on the sides of the cab, just to cover up that area a bit, and also add gray banners on the side of this gangway, just in the front area. All right. So yeah, that is it for the end car. Now let's make one of the middle cars. Um, let's make it with the pantograph so it's gonna look like that and let's get started once again take our um, gray concrete two blocks wide 35 blocks long so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen twenty one two two twenty three twenty four twenty five twenty six twenty seven twenty eight twenty nine thirty three one thirty two thirty three thirty four thirty five then let's do the other side. There's also like these little boxes underneath uh, the pantograph car as well. And they are a bit different, so don't copy the same thing. All right, so then we're gonna have a layer of upside down stone brick stairs alongside. It's gonna take us a while. It was starting to actually get cold, but now it's just hot again, so I don't know. I wish there was like an in-between, a lot more in-between days where it's not too hot, not too cold. Uh, but it's just one of those hot days right now. After the, like the Hurricane Florence. Alright, so now let's take quartz. 
Now let's add an arrow right here. Just part of the design, just have that at the very end. The other side as well. Then I'm going to fill in uh, the middle area of that with blue. And the one in the front as well, blue. Alright, so now we're going to have like the little paint job. So there's going to be three blues. You know what, let's just do all the corners first. So three blues on all the corners. Then light blue, skip a block, light blue, and then do the same thing. All the corners. And then we're going to have a blue block in between that. Then we're going to skip two blocks and then add a blue. Skip a block, another blue. So hopefully you can tell what the pattern is like. So where the doors are, there's like these blue uh, little dots around it. And let's add light uh, blue around it. Like so, and then three blues on each corner. Then we're gonna left, be left with like this three block hole. So that's the logo. So let's take uh, concrete on one side and then two quartz on the other side for the Scott Rail logo. And then we're gonna have the doors. So let's place the iron doors down. And once we're done with that, we can add in our window. So we're gonna have a um, window right here, skip block, another window. And do this on the other side as well. And then we're gonna have four windows in the middle, so I'll skip two away from here. Just add four windows. So it is symmetrical, so you don't have to worry about like some other, some side looking different from the other side for this. Now we're gonna add blue concrete for the rest of it. And actually, the area above the doors we have to leave that alone. So I kind of forgot that way over there. So if you're building that, just remember to skip the doors. That's going to be a different color, the white color. All right, so go to where the doors are and place our white concrete blocks. Cool, so and then we're gonna have the gangway, so that's gonna be a gray concrete block right here, two by three, with a cobstone two by three right here, a black carpet on top, and then at the bottom, we're gonna have two stone brick slabs like that, and then the coupling, it looks like that, and also this little connection thingy made of dark oak wood fence gates all right so for the middle part we're gonna have uh, five block wide carpets on the side they're gonna be black and the rest of the carpet we're gonna have gray on the sides So actually this wasn't as quite bad. I thought it would take a lot longer than this, but no. I'm already almost done with it. I just gotta get a few more things. All right, then we're gonna go over here. Let's add a two by three gray concrete, like so in that hole. All right, so now we're gonna have um, this thing with the pantographs. So 
on this side we're gonna have two slabs like that and it's gonna go dip down for the pantograph so that's going to be I think six blocks long so one two three four five six and then it goes back up again so add it like that both sides and the rest of the roof is pretty much the same except for like that middle area with the black uh, carpet right there but we can fix that later Alright, so we're going to take another brick slab, just replace these two in the middle, bam, and let's work on this pantograph. So it's going to start off right here, right above that window, it's going to go dangly up, so hopefully you can do this right, um, where should I start from here? It just slowly climbs up like that. Just copy like the exact shape that I'm going for. Like that. Then we're going to have stone brick stairs on the sides of it. It's going to hang like upside down. It kind of looks like a coat hanger to me. That's what it reminds me of. Like that. So that is our pantograph. Now let's work on the bottom bit. So take our hopper and our uh, stone brick slab just start off at the end we'd have uh, two stone brick slabs like that so it looks symmetrical like that then we're going to skip two blocks add our hopper wheels both sides three slabs and another hopper Then we're going to go to the other side, do the same thing, just skip two. Yeah, I think I just skipped one right there, oops. Alright, and then three stone brick slabs. And then another hopper. So for this middle section, let's start right over here. Uh, we're going to skip, I think, two blocks. Yeah, two. So right over here, we're going to add one. Then skip a block, and then add four. So one, two, three, four. Skip a block. One, skip a block, and then uh, that looks like six. But yeah, I think it's six. So one, two, three, four, five, and six. All right, cool, so that's how you make uh, the pantograph car, and depending on which uh, train set you're going for, they might like flip the other direction. Okay, so now let's make uh, the plane car. So this is the plane car. There's nothing on top, nothing at the bottom, so that's pretty easy. You just get rid of all of this and all the stuff on top uh, with the pantograph, just moving that out. All right, guys, so that's how you make the British Rail Class 380-0 for Scott Rail. I hope you guys enjoy this video. And if you do, please hit that like button below because I will be uploading more videos like this in the future. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.